Welcome to this training video about VT3 and QML programming of Tira HE displays. Let's start with VT3. For this example, we use two variables coming from a CAN message of an Amugio inclinometer. It's very easy to define them with the wizard interface. Then, let's define in a data block the variables where to copy information for QML application. It's ready to be used a special memory area. Just put the variables in the memory class T. A background service will automatically send this memory area to QML. Consider that you can pass all the data that you need. IOs, push button status, pause results, and so on. Finally, it's enough to put the CAN message data in the memory class C variables and then build. In the meantime of the build, some additional information about communication between VT3 and QML. The background service works bidirectionally, also in the opposite way, getting data from QML application and copied in another special memory area to be used by VT3 application. Just define variables inside the memory class Z. Now it's time for some QML. For this example, we use a simple graphical user interface with two circular gauges that will be linked to CAN message data. It's available to be used a special data structure with all the variables coming from VT3 application. It's enough to put them as values and then build. Consider that in this special data structure you can also copy information that you want to pass to VT3 application. Do you remember the bidirectional service introduced earlier in VT3 section? That's it! The QML application binary result of the build can be put in the extra files folder of the VT3 project. In this way, you can have a final binary file that contains both QML and VT3 applications. That's the final result running on the display. The VT3 application in parallel to the QML application with graphical user interface that shows data coming from the canvas. Thanks for watching this video.